Good afternoon, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 33. Hope everyone had an amazing Christmas Eve and Christmas holiday. Enjoyed that with friends, family, plenty of gifts, plenty of food, and uh, hope everyone's ready to get back at it because uh, today is the 26th and we're back on the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. So lately we've been talking about smart plans. Today I wanted to run you through kind of a brief overhaul of five of those smart plans so you can take a look at those. So again, to get the smart plans, we're the fourth icon down. We're gonna click on that icon to get into the smart plan submenu or applet. We're gonna get into the library right now. I basically just wanna walk through these first five smart plans with you and tomorrow we'll do the other ones and then do uh, probably one or two more challenges to wrap up smart plans, head on to the next topic. So monthly neighborhood nurture, this is, in my opinion, probably one of the top two smart plans that you could put somebody on. It would be a neighborhood nurture um, and quarterly call plan. Just a teaser alert, that's going to be the other one. So the monthly neighborhood nurture, what that is, is basically it's going to send out an HTML email. And that you can actually, I would first recommend setting yourself up on one of those emails so you can see what they look like. But they are... Um, very graphic rich. They're very content heavy. They will show your client information about what's active and what has gone under contract in the neighborhood that you assign them to during the contract creation process. So we know sometimes we put the address in and command automatically assigns them to a neighborhood. If you added them to this smart plan, then they would start receiving information about that auto assigned neighborhood. In addition, you have the ability to add additional neighborhoods should you like to, and then they would get an email with multiple neighborhoods in that. So uh, this basically sends out that email. It's then gonna wait 28 days, and then it's gonna send the email again, and it's gonna send them a monthly or a, a you know a neighborhood nurture email every single month or every single you know every 28 days if you will so a great way for your clients to kind of be up to date about what's happening in their market in their neighborhood and yet not feel like they're getting too spammed because it's only once a month now if you have a client that is a little more um, ready to go maybe they're considering selling a lot more um, heavily than just a typical monthly neighborhood nurture you do have the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. So this would be great for sellers or buyers. If I have buyers in a particular neighborhood that want to see kind of what's happening, uh, they know they want to buy in the next three to six months in a couple of different neighborhoods, then they could work on that aspect and kind of say, okay, you know, when, how soon do I want to buy and what's happening there? So that's the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture and that one basically goes 14 days and then sends the email again. So 14 days and sends it out again, and then 14 days sends it out again. So you can kind of see what that looks like. The next smart plan that we have is the quarterly call plan. So that's number three. Basically the steps on this one are, it's gonna send you a task to call this person. And you can see this is exactly right here, this box that shows up when I hover over it. This is what's gonna show up in your task manager. So it's gonna tell you to call this person as part of the quarterly call plan. It's gonna wait 90 days, and it's gonna tell you to call that person again. So we talked before the holidays there about the ability to add contacts to this smart plan over a series of time, kind of staggered. So you could add you know, one, two, three, five people every day for the next seven to eight days and kind of stagger that out. So a great way to maybe time block your week every Monday morning, I'm gonna add, I don't know, 30 contacts to that smart plan and then move on and you know keep on going from there. So that's the quarterly call plan. And then finally, the last two we have are the midterm and long-term nurture. Now these are a little bit more diverse of a smart plan, kind of show you some of the additional things that we can do there. So. When we dive into the midterm nurture smart plan, you can see this is six steps for 90 days and includes two touches. And I actually think it includes more than that if you take a look at it, right? So first thing it's gonna do is add the client to the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. Okay, now this is bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. So every two weeks, right? Every 14 days, they're gonna get an email from you. So it says that this is only two touches. However, 
they're also linking to a bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. So 28, it's probably six to seven emails that they're gonna get for you. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna wait 14 days and it's gonna send you a task to call them. And then it's gonna wait 14 days and it's either going to send a text on your behalf as long as you have your Twilio account set up and activated, or it's going to send you a task reminder to send out a text. And here are some example texts that it recommends sending. So you can see one, two, three, it's a 90 day plan. These would get it sent out every 28 days and they would be sent out as long as Twilio was connected in this order. So you'd see number one would go out on day, what would it be, day 28? And then number two would go out on day 56. And then number three would go out on day, what's that, 84, I think, if that math is correct. Um, so that is the midterm nurture. So general check-in with a recently met contact to offer expertise for something real estate specific. And then you have the long-term nurture. So this is actually eight steps and it goes 180 days. You can see, however, the first step is to add someone to the monthly neighborhood nurture. So I would think that this is someone that's maybe not quite as hot to trot, not quite as active of a buyer, but you just wanna kinda of stay in touch um, a little more than just one month or one call per quarter. So we start off with monthly neighborhood nurture. We delay 10 days, then it reminds, sends you a task to call them, waits 10 days, then it sends you what's called a touch task. It's the first time we've seen this in a smart plan. It basically says send a value email, buyer or seller, to contact first or last as part of the long-term nurture smart plan. So what could a value email be? It might be um, an invite to a community event that's happening in their neighborhood. It might be a reminder, hey, just so you know, uh, you probably have a lot of extra... Um, you know, holiday wrapping, recycling happens every Thursday. Or, hey guys, if you're looking to get rid of old toys because your kids got a bunch of new toys, heavy trash day happens the first and third Monday of every month. Something like that, right? Some kind of, uh, maybe it's a Keller mortgage email or uh, something about Keller offers, Keller covered. A lot of different opportunities for value emails here. It's gonna wait 10 days and then it's gonna suggest or automatically send out a text and here are those six texts that it's going to work through over the 180 days that this program runs. So again, the long-term nurture, 180 days, it's gonna send out during that time, that six months, it'll send out six emails. During that time, right, you're obviously gonna do six phone calls, six touch tasks, and six text messages. So even though it says three touches, it really is more than that because it's, you know, three touches per cycle. However, it's a 180 day cycle. So a significant larger number of touches for your client there. But that's basically the long term nurture, your, your midterm nurture, your quarterly call plan, and then the monthly and biweekly neighborhood nurture. Tomorrow, we're going to get into the rest of these smart plans, kind of walk through those and discuss them a little bit further. And uh, I'll look forward to uh, speaking with you about those tomorrow. As always, I hope you're having a great day, great weekend, or great rest of the week, depending if you're working this week. And uh, hope everyone, again, had a wonderful holiday session. And uh, as always, look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Take care.